Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Game Night. This is another episode of Awesome Board Games in My Collection. We're going to talk about Killer Bunnies. The quest, uh, uh, quest for the magic carrot. Uh, it's a very lighthearted, uh, humorous uh, board game, card game, however you want to call it. And the object of the game is to keep your bunnies alive in order and get to collect these carrots here. Uh, so you're basically going to be uh, playing, you know, programming like two moves in the beginning of the game. You're going to have two cards. You, you're going to play one, which you flip one, and you play it. And the other one is for the next round. And you basically be doing that. See all these different bunnies, different personalities. Uh, the carrots, I mean, all these different carrots with different personalities that you're going to be trying to collect. And you do that by drawing money, because you can buy them in the, buy, some carrots worth so much money in the, in the game, so you can use money to get carrots. You can get a card that you can play that allows you to get carrots, or multiple carrots. This one, you play it and you get to choose two carrots from any of that available, so you just take the card of the carrot you want that you think is lucky. And you do all that kinds of stuff. So you're basically trying to buy carrots, and then there's all these other things that will prevent you from winning the game. Uh, you could, uh, when you draw, uh, after you play your card, the card you flip it up, you have to draw a card. Sometimes you get a terrible misfortune card. If you get one of these, it, you read what it says. This one says terrible misfortune. Play immediately. One of your bunnies exposed to illegally buried plutonium loses its fur, compulses for a bit, and dies. Your bunny is dead. Gone. Now there are cards that are special cards. In this case, there's one like this, the very special card. And this one is basically, uh, you know, basically a South Park reference. Kenny, you, you basically will play this and your bunny will come back to life. Um... Uh, now, talking about bunnies, there are different types of bunnies. There's the specialty bunnies. This one's a Marilyn Monroe uh, reference. Uh, you have the standard bunnies. They come in different colors. The Gleeful Bunny. Blue Timid Bunny, and a whole bunch of different ranges of different colors. And when you have one in play, it allows you to play weapon cards. So if you have a weapon card as your next run card, and it comes up, you will activate the, the weapon card. And you got different things like explosive bolts here. This one says, a data weapon may be played on any bunny, which must roll higher than today's date to survive. Add the 12 and the 20 sided die for the total. Or you could have the curly spiced pompadum weapon. You need to, they need to roll higher than an 8 to survive it. The Steel Jaws, they have to roll higher than a 6 to survive it. Uh, you got Boiling Nectar. Oh, I'm sorry, Boiling Car, not Nectar. Maybe play it on any bunny which must roll higher fire to survive. And then Potentially Poisonous Plant Spores, level 17 weapon. As well as playing uh, those, you can also play uh, these other ones that are weapons. Feed the bunny. You basically will be playing this on somebody. And they have to feed it whatever the card says on the bottom before their next turn. Or, or their, their bunny will die. So you say, okay, I want this on your bunny. So they have to come up with three cabbage and three... Uh, five cabbage and three water. And you get water from the supply by buying it. Or you or in cabbage at the, the store by spending your money. Or you could get a card that lets you get it, a uh, free cab or free water card. And you don't know what the value of the card's gonna be underneath it, you just basically buy it, and then if it could be, you know, one water, two water, or three cabbage, five cabbage, and stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> now, if you ever draw a dollar, like if you draw, if you draw a ten, like a bill, like one of these Kabbalah dollars, you keep, you draw another card. Same with if you draw a terrible misfortune card, you'll draw a replacement. So essentially you could draw money, draw, draw a terrible misfortune card, draw money, 
and then draw another terrible misfortune card. And the process can keep going on and on and on. So you never know what you're going to get when you're drawing a card. So just because you have a bunny in alive don't mean it's going to stay alive for long. Some other cards that are special, these are uh, su su Super Supply Surprise. And you're going to roll all the dice that it shows on there and you will do what the card says. And, and uh, it says lowest roll is the supply received by the player. So if green is the lowest roll, you're going to get two cabbage. Blue, you're going to get two water cards. Orange, you get two carrots. Yellow equals $20. Violet equals two bunnies. Black will equal two defense cards. Red will equal two pawns. Clear all items listed. Now a couple other terrible misfortune cards are uh, this one. This one it says, one of your bunnies is impaled by a stray lawn dart during a family outing. Or a terrible misfortune card right here. While trying Eastern style medicine, one of your bunnies winds up on an apprentice a puncture's table. So the game will end when the last carrot is drawn from the game, and um, after that, uh, any bunnies that are alive that have carrots will stay in the game, and then you will. Uh, there's another. There's a deck of smaller cards that were shuffled early in the game, and you will gradually reveal which slowly, or just go to the bottom of the deck, and that's the one you use the magic carrot. But I, we like to do the. Oh, is this, uh, who, it's like, you know, the tension's like, okay, that's, nope, not that carrot. And then you finally get down to one, you know, like, there might be one or two people down to, like, one carrot each, and it's like, one of them, you know, is the magic carrot. Um, it doesn't really, you could play really well in this game and then still lose. Uh, it's more like the journey and having fun with the game more than actually winning the game, because you're just, there's so much random factors in the game, and the fact that you could, you could have majority of the carrots, uh, and then down to it one person just got one carrot and that's the one that wins or you could have a whole bunch of carrots and everyone else has one carrot and then someone has a lot of money and whoever and if you are eliminated the player that has all the carrots is eliminated then the person who has the highest money value gets all those carrots if there's a tie then you will split the, the carrots up among the players but you had to have a bunny alive so all people players that don't have bunnies are out of the game at the end, so it comes to trying to keep your bunnies alive, trying to get more, multiple bunnies in play. If you have three of the same color or same type of bunny, you will get to play two cards instead of one, so you'll get to do the top run cards, slide it up, draw, replace, and then do it again, flip it up, draw, replace, and you can do that. And uh, there's cards that will actually protect you uh, and, and such. I recommend you don't there's a lot of expansions for it, but it's best to get them in the order that the they, they, they state in. So you basically, if you do get get this one, you can get this this box. And I would exp I would get the other expansions um, just to have all the uh, up to where all the carrots are, so you can have all the carrots in the game. Because um, you get like so many, uh, there's only so many carrots. I think there's a total of 20 carrots, but like they're divided up in different sets. Uh, yeah, 20 carats. Looks like it's the, the amount of carats in the game is 20 carats. Yeah. So you're going to have a certain amount of those. But it, to start the game off, I, I, it doesn't hurt just to get the set and play with it and learn how to play it. It's not really that difficult. It's a really fun game. It's all crap, comes down to like a crapshoot. So, I mean, and each set comes with different dice colors. Like, so you'll start out with a standard dice and as you add expansions, you're gonna get weirder dices, weirder opponent, components. So they're, they're more or less, you play the basic game. Then when you get the expansions, you take out some of the base stuff. You don't wanna add all the, all the expansions together because it's gonna be a mesh of all different mechanics. They add a lot of stuff, and the more mechanics you have, the more confusing it is. You could do it, but it just adds so much confusion to the game. Because then you, ha if you don't have a certain card, don't come up. That set is useless because there's cards that re uh, go on the zodiac ones. There's some that play on the green. They're all color. They're all color themed. 
but you can get a good amount of play out of just this main box. Me and my fiance, we played, um, started with this box. We played about three games with it. And then after that, we were hooked. We, we went into our hobby shop and we saw, oh, the next expansion's out. So we went and got that one. And then we played with that set for a little bit. And then eventually we ended up getting all the sets and we, just, we have all of them. There's, some, I think the latest one is a chocolate set. Chocolate themed. Um, so it's got like Willy Wonka references and things like that. So all these cards are like parodies of other cultural things and TV references and things like that. So there's a lot of humor in here. Uh, just the fact that you could be doing so well and all of a sudden draw a terrible misfortune card and your your bunny is toast. Nothing you can do to save that bunny. Uh, someone could play a really crappy weapon on you that's like level three weapon and you roll a one on the dice and your, your bunny's toast. It's it's funny like that roll a lower weapon could actually physically kill somebody even though it's like the odds are like stacked against you. Uh, not ha you know not getting that weapon to take that bunny out, but it just takes one good roll to, for you, on you, in your favor to eliminate the uh, player. So just because it's a low weapon doesn't mean it won't work, and it's just another way to. Um, give everyone a fighting chance because it's like if you, you can have weapon after weapon played on you then there's some that will actually affect an entire party or an entire group of bunnies so some of the weapons are really powerful and they have major effects that cause like it could damage you so if you play a there's some that like actually have a range effect it'll, it'll affect the bunny it hits and then two bunnies the next two bunnies so if you have you have a bunny and your two players next to you have a bunny and it's someone over there and it says it affects that bunny and two bunnies next to it, then it's gonna be, your bunny is gonna go along with the one to your, your other side. So it's gonna basically blow up your bunny. So you kinda wanna figure out how, what the weapon's gonna do if it does go off. Cause you, you could basically inadvertently target yourself. So keep that in mind. It's, like I said, it's very dicey game, but it's a lot, pretty luck driven. But it's in the end, it's a lot of fun. I mean, if you can get over the fact it's a total crapshoot, um, then you'll probably enjoy it. It's a good laugh. Um, I'd say it's kind of like the Munchkin take take that element, but this one's a little bit more uh, uh, more player interact, more player act interactive because you're trying to keep your bunnies alive and. You have more, a little bit more control than you would in Munchkin. Like, oh yeah, this person draws, got a, didn't draw a monster that, you know, and stuff like that. But this one, you're, you're just trying to get bunnies and play, and it's all about having fun in this one. You know, even if you do lose, it's, it's still a huge. Um, and I can't really say how long the game will take to play because it all depends on how many cards you have in the expansion. How long it takes for players to get money so there's a lot of factors you can't really put a time limit on this one so it's one of those that I, I would allow at least an hour to two hours but you can minimize how much time it takes to play by how many carrots you have in the game so if you want to have a shorter game you can say okay let's have six carrots and once those six carrots are gone the game's over so you can have a variable length of game based on how many carrots you put in so we usually do the full 20 so anyways thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time